As we told you earlier in the newscast, fair officials closing the fairgrounds tomorrow, but will reopen Thursday morning around 11 a.m. There's a lot of equipment, of course, at the fair and a lot of animals. Junior journalist Maddie Land checked in today to find out how the weather affects those animals. Animals at the Georgia National Fairgrounds are getting ready for some stormy weather. Eudora Farms Petting Zoo is attracting attention at the fair this year. We have uh, over 26 different types of species of animals. Michael Sin is a zookeeper for Eudora Farms. They bring animals from all over the world right here to central Georgia. Baboons, um, bear cat, we have more kangaroos, lemurs, um, spur-thighed tortoise. But the biggest and tallest attraction here is Elliot the giraffe. Now this is a ruminant giraffe. He's one of four different giraffes. He just turned two three days ago. I even got to feed Elliot a snack. Elliot didn't seem concerned about the weather, but some of the animals get nervous. When it starts to cool down, they do get a little excited, like all animals do. I mean, they do a little bit of jumping around. Sin says fair officials are watching the weather, and his fellow workers are ready to take action. If they let us know that uh, they'd rather us tear this tent down, we're going to have to get all the animals and locate them into the barn. That way they're safe. Fairgoer Finley Faircloth wasn't worried about the weather. She just focused on her favorite part. Feeding them. But Finley's granddad, Jeff, is definitely thinking about Hurricane Michael's approach. We have friends that own places down on the coast, and I have a place down near Tallahassee that I fish in, so yeah, we're worried about that. But for now, things are pretty calm at the yeah, Eudora at Farms Petting Zoo. I'm junior journalist Maddie Caitlin, reporting in Perry, Georgia for 13WMAZ News.